at Gamble Pavilion, where once again the fans lined up early to get the best seats in the house. It's a second round matchup between UConn and Syracuse as we welcome you to the NCAA Women's Championship presented by Capital One, another packed house on hand for these old Big East rivals with a lot more on the line. That would be a date with Duke in Portland in the Sweet 16. And we are about to get underway. Edwards with the face mask was out for two weeks, missed the last two games of the Big East Tournament. She is back and came back with a vengeance with that double-double. Nice played over 30 minutes. She has grad transfer experience as well. Great start. For UConn, it's KK Arnold. Run through with the cutters. They were working on that yesterday in practice as well as in shoot-around today. But UConn's gonna try to pass out of that. Woolley knocks it down. The junior from Brisbane, Australia with a palatable 6 p.m. local time tip-off. Woolley again for three, how about that? Mm. On her saying, hey, we need you, especially without the services of Rice, who averages 10 a game. I think she got that message. Leah Edwards finishes on the other end. Here's Fair. Ball knocked away. Beckers forces a turnover. Nika Mule, the very talented point guard. Beckers with some flash. Nice and loose on defense, Paige. Beckers just attacked the gap. By Burroughs, the other Australian in the starting lineup. Along with Woolley, who has the ball in her hands. Fair looking for it, but Woolley pulled up. She saved herself a couple feet and maybe a blocked shot by pulling up there right inside the elbow. Good drive by KK Arnold. Woolley floater. Edwards gets it. Arnold. Becker somehow was able to collect it. From that and 10 to go over. A Becker's block. How about this block? Paige Becker's may have lost a step right there, but got there in time to send that one to the fifth row. I've already seen her get into the gap for a steal earlier in the game. Syracuse has missed five shots in a row. That one was tipped there with an air ball. But she's going to keep on shooting. Has a great handle. Was able to get around three defenders and get an assist. And get an assist. Oh, boy. But then, who awaits the winner of this game? Tangled web. <laughs> Tangled web right there, but Latham. Blocked by Mika Mule. Nika Mule with the chase down block right here. Latham thought she was free and easy. Nika Mule said, this is my last time playing here at Gamble. You're not scoring easy. Mule does have another year of eligibility, but has decided this will be her last season. UConn was working against the zone during their practice. Get it into the high post area and work out from there. Ashley Shade, the freshman, coming off a career day. And Edwards had lost Vergeau right there. If she had been able to handle it, she probably could have scored easily in there. Beckers with a nice feed from Mueller. And that's what you do. Take those shallow cuts against the zone. Outstanding. And she only took six shots in the first half on Saturday. And she scored 11 straight by herself in the fourth. Just absolutely all over fair defensively. Syracuse likes to run that Iverson action, and Nika Mule got a piece of that one. Mule's second block of the game. Latham looking for her first points. Edwards with the good defense forces another turnover. In this NCAA tournament full of stars, we have one here in DeAsia Fair. Shade again! Well, Syracuse can't settle for the shots that UConn is giving them. They need to take their shots. Beckers with the floater. Shot clock into single digits. Fair. Tough shot to get her first points of the night. Beckers thought about it, then got inside. Tremendous bounce pass over to Edwards. Beckers and Edwards always on the same page. 
Edwards gets it over to Shade. Beckers. First offensive board, and she converts. If I'm Gino, I'm fine with that shot. You, you see how you can pick apart the defense and commit it to the basketball. Lily picks up her dribble and then takes a relatively low percentage shot. Brady, as the ball bounces around, Syracuse with active hands. The three, nailed on offensive rebounds where they're six best in the country. Beckers with the kick. Steal and score. That is the pace of play that Gino Ariyama said that the Huskies needed to play. Paige Beckers, tough for her because she's so short, right? So she's the primary ball handler, but I think they need to get her off of some weak side stagger screens instead to get her a touch. Extra defensive attention to the basketball right now that Syracuse is showing. Inside Beckers, turn, shoot, hits. Inside two minutes to go in the half. And we'll give UConn credit for getting a body on and maintaining contact to disallow those extra possessions. Beckers elevates. The fans stand and Beckers looks at Gino. He said go. She does. And she hits it. Now sitting on a 20 piece in the first half. And she's done it in a cold-blooded manner. She is ready to play. You go under the screen, she's going to bump it right down through the net. Taken down by Wood. Willie got off to a great start with some threes. Turn around by Latham. Good job by Wood to come out. Pardon me, Latham. Fair, there you go. Maybe that's enough to get her going. Deja Fair has the complete trust of Coach Jack. They have a really great relationship. And then Woolley hits the shot. It's just where you want to be if you're Paige Beckers. And Gino wants her to be there. He's got to put it down. Burroughs, the freshman. In that first half, UConn turned it over five times, but Syracuse was able to score 10 points off as Paige gets a nice dime there. Beckers goes behind her back. Floats it over to Shade. UConn with a nice response. With a strong response to that 8-0 run by Syracuse. Extra pass is being made to that weak side by Paige Beckers to Edwards. And then Beckers right outside. No shade for Shade. Both teams said that they have changed so much since that juncture, but they understand who they are. And what a great block inside. Let's see if Syracuse can settle in right here. Use a little of the clock. Or get, or not, the ball to number two. You've got to be in the picture. If you can't see the camera, you're not going to be in the picture. Nobody was in the picture there defensively. What a quick move by Beckers. 25 points for Page. Had 28 yesterday, or yesterday, two days ago, in the first round against Jackson State. And here comes D. So two of the top four scorers in the history of women's college basketball are playing in the NCAA tournament. Arnold with the bucket. Decker's working on Woolley, kicks it out. Shade from the corner. Ashlyn Shade just beats the buzzer. And tough here at home. Three-point shot is under Paige review. Beckers kicking it out to the corner to Slim Shady. Ashlyn Shade putting it down through the net for a triple. UConn up. Portland in the Sweet 16. Duke pulling off the upset of Ohio State. Yesterday, Cam Ward and Christy Uno Scott joining you. Paige Beckers hitting the shot. Right, and you see the shots falling that were knocking. They were knocking down that first half, and they weren't making the same shots it makes it difficult confidence wise but they've been able to stick with it Syracuse sticking with their zone and you see Aliyah Edwards right there creeping around the nail once she gets it there she can go to work puts it in with her off hand well it gives you options when you put the ball right there in that soft spot of the zone another three ball starting today for Rice out with the concussion Mule saw a little bit of daylight, then kicks it out to Paige Beckers. 
Page has 30. A slight work from Paige Beckers. But Fair says, I got you right back. Still trying to have the flick of the wrist. And now they're trying to blitz a little bit. And we saw that towards the end of that first half. Shade again, that's her spot. Such a big bucket. Nika Mule, she knew if I get it inside, they're gonna sink it a little bit. And that's gonna give Ashlyn Shade time. So that's just a huge ice breaking bucket. The lead is eight for UConn. It's all about stops and scores right now. When you're coaching, you do a shell drill and get four consecutive stops. Oh, boy. Nika Mule she is just sense. fouled out of the game. 19 tonight. Inside three minutes. Fair. Big bucket. Tipped by Burroughs. Woolley. Burroughs wants it for three, and she nails it. To let it fly and drop in the bucket. And then Burroughs with yet another three. Off the inbounds, Latham. Beckers, little hesitation and hits. Beckers, over to Arnold, got it to roll in, P.K. Arnold, the true freshman. Just got it into Edwards, who is fouled immediately by Latham. And she has just been a stalwart of strength. So a brilliant career from the Asia Fair ends tonight in stores. UConn will take on Duke in Portland. Gino and Coach Jack. Mutual Admiration Society tonight. The Asia Fair passed both Jackie Styles and Kelsey Mitchell, now third all time in points. And we will see UConn out west to take on Duke. What a fight it was for Syracuse. Down a dozen at one point and just came up a little bit short.